It's round robin time. So I went to my mailbox today. Um, actually hoping that my Knowles Farm Sense order was gonna be in there, which I feel like it should have been, but my post office is sometimes a little slow. Anyway, um, I was pleasantly surprised to see this giant box uh, and I could smell right away that I, it was wax inside. So I am the first person to receive the round robin box. Um, so Melanie from Bright House Sense, uh, she started uh, by filling it with a bunch of wax and sent it along. Um, we're doing it like a random draw of who receives it. So I'll pick a name and that person will get it next. Um, so there's, I forget how many of us, I wanna say, I'll have everyone and their channel uh, in the description for sure. I think um, everyone has a YouTube channel. Anyway, so I'm super excited. I will admit, I've been trying to open this box for an embarrassingly long amount of time. I cannot figure out what the proper way to open this is because when I tried to open it the way I thought, everything started falling out and yeah, so I, I don't know. And if I destroy the box, I'll just get a new one from the post office. It's a flat rate, like shipping thing we're doing. But I don't know if you can see, like this thing is full and it's heavy. It, I think we were able to um, put up to like 11 pounds in here. So I'm not sure if Melanie actually filled this with like 11 pounds of wax. That would be crazy, but who knows? So anyways, I'm so excited. I do have my notebook here just um, with what I have coming from certain vendors. Just that way I don't take something from the box that it turns out I have coming in a pre-order because I wouldn't want to do that if someone else could... Um, uh, yeah, get, the, they could get it and I'm already getting it. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I'm just, I feel very frazzled. I literally just got home from work. I got this right before I had to leave for work and I was all during work. I was just thinking about it and thinking about it. It's what got me through my shift because I'm like, I get to go home, smell a bunch of wax. I just work at a retail job, but. Anyway, so yeah, I'm in my like pajama kind of shirt um, and I, it's late at night. I don't think the lighting should be different because I'm in a basement apartment anyway, so it doesn't get much natural light um, anyway, but yeah, hopefully it's okay. Anyways, I'm sure you're sick of listening to me ramble. So let's get into the wax. So right on top, I see a lot of, well, I see a lot. I see a lot of lavender and speckles though. And I have not tried lavender and speckles. So getting started. Sweet vanilla berry palo. This is warm vanilla sugar, strawberry pound cake, palo santo. Hmm. Okay. So this one's not a favorite to my nose. So I'm gonna put that one in. I'll pass that along. Toasted lavender marshmallows and Palo Santo. Ooh, I love lavender. Mm, I like this, yep. 
I do like this and I don't have anything like this coming. Put that in my maybe. It's hard like in the very beginning because you don't know what you're gonna fall in love with. So this is very berry cornbread again, still from lavender and speckles. So this is strawberry pound cake, blueberry muffins, and sweet raspberry punch blended with honey cornbread. So um, a berry blend. I'm not huge on like berry blends, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. Beach Nights and Palo Santo. And this says, true to its name, Beach Nights and Palo Santo goodness. Oh. Well, oh, that's good. I see what everyone's saying about Beth's, um, the owner of Lavender and Speckles, Beach Nights. So I have Calm Beach Nights and Beach Night Cookies coming, but not Beach Nights in Palo Santo. Okay, I'm putting that in the maybe. Strawberry Lemon Zest Pie. Strawberry Pound Cake with some extra lemon zest blended with pie crust and vanilla waffle cones. I do like lemon scents, lemon bakery scents. Mmm, that's really nice. Mm, I'm trying to think. I have a lot of lemon bakery, but this is with strawberry, so it's a little different. Put that in the maybe too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to really like narrow it down afterwards, I feel like. Ooh, summer boardwalk pretzel from Lavender and Speckles. I've heard a lot about um, Beth's pretzel. So this is sweet candied apples, caramel corn, touches of taffy, hints of ozone, and salty pretzels. So I mostly get the sweet candied apples more than I get. Yeah, I'm not really getting the pretzel. I'll pass on that one just because I'm getting out of my apple. I don't know, apple's just not it for me right now. Strawberry Halloween treats. Have I heard of this one? Strawberry pound cake blended with pumpkin pecan waffles, caramel swirl, and sweet candy corn. Ooh, I get that. I get the sweet candy corn and the pumpkin pecan waffles and the caramel. I don't really get a ton of strawberry pound cake in this one. I'm going to pass on this one just because I don't want to take all the lavender and speckles. This is strawberry french toast pretzel. French toast topped with sweet strawberries and pretzel bits. Mm. Definitely get the strawberry in this one. Hmm. Again, I think I'll pass on this one. I'm almost feeling like the strawberry is not my favorite strawberry. It's like a, a fresh strawberry, like a fresh picked strawberry. Okay, I'm trying to see if that's most of, I mean, not that I have to keep the vendors together, but I feel like it makes it a little bit easier. I'm so excited I hear, um, or I, I hear, I see vendors I've not tried. Okay, so I see some L3 in here. 
So I see a trig tart in pistachio macaroon. I do like pistachio. Mm. This smells good. Mm. I do like this. Put this one. I'm just thinking because I, I have pistachio. I don't have a ton, so I'll put that in the maybe too. Nothing's been a definite yes yet, but I feel like I'm going to go back over my maybes once I kind of go through everything and things will move to apple pumpkin butter. This is another trig tart from L3. If I didn't mention that, this is, these are from L3 Waxy Wonders. Ooh. Oh, that's very nice. I like that too. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Which one do I like more? I mean, this one's more fall. This one's like anytime. But I almost feel like I like this one better. Mm. But do I need more fall? Okay, I'm not doing this debate now. They'll both go in the maybe for now. Okay, L3, get in, loser. Uh, which is bakery bomb, pretzel. Today is October 3rd. And this is a bunt. Hmm. Okay. I think this is my first yes. This is really good. And I've been on the hunt for pretzel, and this has pretzel. So that's my first yes. This one is, ooh, this one is Beware of the Plastics, which is Sugared Lavender Twist. Today is October 3rd. Again, another bun from L3. Oh, this is going to be another yes. Okay. I think this is maybe the last one from L3. Maybe not, but. So this is She Doesn't Even Go Here, which is vanilla sandalwood, smoked vanilla. Today is October 3rd. So this must have been from like a Mean Girl sampler, I'm guessing. Oh, and that's really nice too, but I'm not gonna take all of them. <laughs> so I'll pass this one along for someone else to enjoy, but it's really nice. <sighs> Just so overwhelmed right now. Okay, and then I saw a few of these from Sassy Girl Aroma. I don't know, I've never seen these offered, so I don't know what exactly even, they're like little, little macaroon cake things. Anyways, this one is in the blend recipe, which is blackberry beach night marshmallow with sugar cookies. I feel like I have something similar to this, but it's not called to this. Mm, very nice. I really like her blackberry. But I am going to pass on this because, like I said, I have something similar. This one is called Cooling Rack. And this is Birthday Cake, Zucchini Bread, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Beach Night, Marshmallow, and Sugar Cookies. Mm. This is just a great bakery blend. Hmm. Not sure. 
The other one is Cookie Cutter, which is caramel pretzels, cookies, sweet lavender, and, oh, wait, sweet lavender, Noel's fluffy, and birthday cake. They smell almost very similar. I think I like this one better. So I'm gonna say yes to this one. Pass this one along. Then I see some Rose Girls. So we have Cookie Butter Coma which is toffee-covered pretzels, confetti cake, cookies, almond, and brown sugar. I'm interested what almond this is, if it's the cherry leaning almond. It, it, it is, like you get that, yeah. Very good though. But it almost smells similar to, um, what I just had in my, what I've been warming, um, the almond biscotti, just because it's that same cherry leaning almond. So I'm gonna pass that one along. This one is banana birthday cookie land, which is banana birthday cake, toffee covered pretzels, cookies and confetti cake. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. The banana is definitely like, an artificial banana, but I almost feel like I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of want to try that one. I'm going to put this in my maybe. Okay. Oh, I see some Harper Janes. That's ex so exciting. Ooh. Okay start with this on top. So we have So Long Summer, which is strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and sugar cookie. Mm. That's good. It's good. But it's not like, oh my god, I need it. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Then there is butter mints. I love these colors, they're so pretty. Oh, that's good. I love minty scents. Oh, okay, that's going in the maybe. Then there is Oh Snap, which is gingerbread, coffee bean, and sweet pastries. I really like gingerbread scents. I know like they can be, they can be really sweet. Oh, this is nice with the coffee. Mm. I wonder how many of the other ladies like coffee scents. Oh, that's really nice. Mm. Can't take everything, so I'm gonna pass that along. Oh, there's more sassy girls. Oh my gosh, Melanie, you really filled this. There is a lot in here. Oh, I'm gonna grab everything. Okay, wow, there's a lot of brittles. Um, first though, there's Harper James I'd Rather Not, which is fresh baked bread and pretzel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. Um, oh, that smells good. I love a fresh baked bread scent. And like I said, I've been trying to find more pretzel blends. It smells really nice. I might break off some and order more bags. 
yeah it's probably what I'm gonna have to do so I'm gonna put this in my yes pile but um yeah I don't want to take that whole thing that's like all these brittles here oh my gosh like seriously guys look at how many brittles Melanie put in here that is insane okay so let's go through these so we have Suki, which is smells like a baker's kitchen with sweet batter and vanilla extract and fresh baked cookies. And yeah, I smell the batter. It smells nice. Um, kind of smells like a basic bakery to me. I don't particularly feel I need that because I do have a lot of that in my collection. Roasted pineapples. Interesting. Juicy pineapple, toasted vanilla, caramelized sugar blended together to create the gooey sweetness of freshly toasted marshmallows. Hmm. Ooh, and yeah, that's a pineapple scent. I'm not super into pineapple out of all the fruits. It's not my favorite. So I'll go ahead and pass that on. Ginger frost, cinnamon, vanilla, ginger clove, gingerbread, and sugar. Oh, that's nice. That's a good gingerbread. Okay. Mm. Um, I, again, don't obviously want to take the whole thing, but I might break off some of that. Abel's Mint Cookies, sugar cookies with a creamy peppermint and vanilla, a bittersweet chocolate. I've been curious about this one, actually. I've seen it on her pre-order list. Because I'm not a chocolate wax person, personally. But this this does smell good. I just don't know how I feel about chocolate and wax. So I'm gonna pass this pass on that one. A lot of these are a little bit broken. Oath, toasted marshmallows, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. That's good. That is good. Put that in the maybe. Toasted in the keys, which is key lime, coconut cream pie, toasted marshmallow, and birthday cake. I love key lime and I love coconut. Mm, yep, this is a for sure. Yes, yes, yes. And Psychiatric Ward. This is a popular one too, I think, of hers. This is Butter Cookies with Blackberry and Strawberry Jam, Vanilla Bean Noel, Donuts, and Zucchini. Lots of good things happening there. And, ooh, this one's broken. I'm gonna pass on this just because I ordered her sampler of her most popular blends or something and I know or no this wasn't on there no it was oath that was on there so I'll pass on oath I might take a bit of this we'll see okay so that was all the sassy girl okay and then ooh, this is from Zade pistachio cream soda fizzy cream soda and pistachio cookie bits. Never tried Zape. It's pretty. Hmm, that's nice. It's not an overwhelming pistachio like most pistachio is. And I do get I can smell the cream soda too. Hmm. 
I will pass on that one. Oh, and then there's some Zape clamshells. All right, let's see what we got here. So, hazelnut latte. Mmm. Smells nice. I like that. Hmm. I'll pass that one on. Then we have Pumpkin Queen. Mm, that one's nice. Nice. I have a lot of pumpkin in my collection right now. And then Coconut Macchiato. Maybe this one I'll keep. Ooh, this is strong on the coffee. I like it though. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one and pass on the rest. So I think what I have left in here looks like, ooh, Teddy Bees. So I have a pre-order coming from Teddy Bees, but I've never tried. And of course, everyone raves about teddy bees. Okay, so we have um, peach cobbler sugar cookie, and this is frosted frosted circus sugar cookies blended with decadent peach cobbler. I'm not usually a peach person, but I've never actually tried it in like a bakery. Mm. And I actually think this is very nice. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. Um, Oasis, this is beach treats, brown sugar and fig and Tahitian vanilla. Oh, that's nice. I feel like all these are gonna end up going in my maybe pile and then I'll have to narrow it down from there. Um, sweetheart cookies, pink sugar, frosted sugar cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, and sweet milk. Sorry, I'm not even like showing you these. Ooh, that's nice. It's a nice sugar cookie, but again, I feel like I have a lot of that, so that one I will pass on. The North, Vanilla Balsam Type, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside Type, and a hint of smolding firewood. I bet I'll like this. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh. Let me see what I have coming. Hmm. Nothing really like this. Oh, this might have to go on my yes. Yeah, I'll put that in my yes. This is oh so sweet. This is flaky croissants filled with almond cream, cinnamon sugar churros, and vanilla ice cream. Mmm, that's good too. I'll pass on this one though to give someone else. I know people like bakery. This is blackberry butter pecan cookies, which is butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, butter cookies. Oh, I keep forgetting to show it to you guys. I don't know if you really care to see it. Mmm, that's good too. Okay, I'm out of my maybes for Teddy Bees. I kept one, and then I have two maybes. I feel like I should only keep one. 
Um, oh my god, this is so hard. I feel like a lot more people will like Oasis, so I'm gonna put that one back and I'll keep the peach cobbler sugar cookies. Okay, so what do I have that I said yes to? So I have two sassy girls here, toasted in the keys, ginger frost. Oh, and then I have this little, this little one of cooling rack. Oh, there's a hair. Then from L3, I kept the get in loser and beware of the plastics. Uh, from Zape, I kept the Coconut Macchiato. And from Harbor James, I kept the I'd Rather Not. And then, like I said, from Teddy V's, I kept the North and Peach Cobbler Sugar Cookies. And then I do have a maybe list here, or a maybe pile, which I will have to go through and figure out um, what I wanna do about that. So yeah, this was an amazing box, uh, Melanie. Thank you so much for everything you put in here. I'm really excited to see everyone else receive it and what they pick out. Um, obviously, I have some stuff I'm now gonna put in. Um, which I'm excited to do. I, I picked up a couple things like intending to put them in this box. So I'm excited for that. Um, and yeah, just watching everyone else's videos. So I know this was a longer video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. See you guys in my next video and Keep, I hope you keep following along with this round robin. Bye.